days, but four goals, three points, fourth in the table for Chelsea. All that talk about a crisis was premature. It was daft, wasn't it? As for Crystal Palace, back-to-back -back defeats for them after a strong start to their season leaves them sitting eighth. Well, Joe, you said it'd be good for them to uh, keep a clean sheet today. It was better than that. Uh, it was a great performance. You, you I thought the back four and the goalie were outstanding. You're limiting Palace to limited opportunities. Jorginho was excellent, not just the penalties, uh, he, 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 he disciplined, he was talking, having Thiago Silva behind him, moving him around where he's supposed to be. I thought we looked good in the second half, we moved the ball quick, everything that we wanted to see in the second half, we saw from Chelsea, fantastic performance and you know, the, the, the table looks a lot brighter than it did this morning. Absolutely, and look, Crystal Palace didn't really come here to play mm. expansive football, Wilfred Zaha had less touches than the Chelsea goalkeeper, so it was always going to be tough. Do you feel you understand the way this Chelsea team is heading with these new signings now? Chelsea, I'll play Chelsea, Chelsea. Yeah. yeah, yeah, well I do, I think Frank's got an idea of how he wants to play some expansive football, but get the balance right, I think the uh, Today, what was fantastic about the way that they played, and I think Palace probably helped them a little bit in there. They wasn't over expansive, they didn't open up, but they were very secure in shutting down any counter-attacks, any threats, didn't have any opportunities on goal. That's what I'd be more proud of and happy about if I was Frank. You're nullifying the other team's attacks, but we're showing that we're also a threat at the other end, and the four goals will tell you that. Absolutely, I'll tell you what, let's hear from Ben Chilwell. What a day for him, a goal, an assist. I'm sure he's got a smile on his face, and he's with Des live right now. Des. Yes, Ben is certainly smiling. Well, he was. He's just changed his facial expression. It was a lovely way to start your Chelsea career, Ben. Premier League debut, Premier League goal. Yeah, um, brilliant, brilliant team performance. Obviously, very happy with my personal performance, but I think that's just you know great for us to start to kick on now. Um, a clean sheet, which we've obviously wanted and spoke about, um, and four great goals as a team. Um, and I like the way that you know we kept going until the end. You know we wanted more goals, um, showed a hunger to press to press for the whole 90 minutes, and um, yeah, brilliant going into the international break. You did have a lot of possession in that first half, but without creating much. So there was an element of patience, and then changing things at half time. Yeah, um, I think like you said there, the first half we were patient, but maybe didn't take quite enough risks in the final third. And um, the gaffer said to us at half time that we need to be a bit more creative in the attacking half and. You know, just we've got you know unbelievable talent up there. We need to show it. Um, and second half, we did that. And it's, this is talent that has to bed in and settle into their roles in the team. Are you further along in that transition because you know the Premier League inside out, unlike some of the other recruits? Yeah. Um, you know, I've not played in any of the other leagues, but I've heard the Premier League's a lot different. So um, it's going to take a bit of time for them to adjust. And everyone's working hard on the training pitch. Um, I think if you look at all the boys today, everyone put a shift in. Um, and everyone played really well, so um, it's starting to bed together well. So you're uh, looking forward with some excitement. Frank Lampard was saying during the week that he expects Chelsea fans to, to feel a, an element of excitement from this side. Yeah, 100%. I think personally, um, and talking to the other boys that have come here, the reason that we've all come here is because we think this team can win stuff. Um, and so they showed that um, we're all hungry to win, win trophies over the next few years. Um, we just need to work hard and you know, keep making performances like today. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. Well, that man would have wanted more from his players at half-time, and he got it in the second half, didn't he? It was an outstanding performance. They just upped the tempo. We said at half-time, we thought Crystal Palace looked a bit lacklustre coming out of the thing. And that's a sense you get when you've been in football. I just looked like they thought they might have patted themselves on the back for a yeah. decent defensive performance in the first half. But Chelsea come out, all guns blazing. Lamps would have got into them. Played with more urgency. And they just they got the job done. It was a fantastic performance. Big smile on Ben Chilwell's face when he spoke to Des just before the break. We'll have a look at the, the goal he was involved in that he scored and the assist he got as well now. How important is it when you sign for a club to put in a performance like that, home debut in the Premier League? Yeah, I think more importantly, a clean sheet. And that's been something that's been hard to come by on a consistent basis for this, uh, this Chelsea team. And I think what he's done is he, he's, put, he, he's come in and it seems like he's... It's, it's water off a duck's back to him. Confidence, um, happy to be on this stage, happy of expectations that are going to be different from what he had at his previous club. But today I thought he was fantastic. And I think in the second half, was, as Joe said, they upped the tempo going forward. And then when they, once they got in the league, there's only going to be one winner in this game. I think what he gives you, Reid, doesn't he? he, he he's, his left foot's lovely. It's like Alonso, mm. but I think he's a little bit more astute defensively and he gives you a little bit more... A bit now defensively, so I think Chelsea have, have definitely improved in that area there. But he, he was outstanding today from start to finish. Mm. Oh, but he gives you so much more than just. Yeah, I mean, this is the defender. ball. The ball comes out to him again, an assist and a goal on your, your home debut. So it's fantastic. But the leap there from, from Zuma was, yeah. was fantastic. I thought he was very solid today as well. Any bits he had to do, he'd done efficiently and done it very well. And I think it's a fantastic head of that.
again we talked before the game didn't we it's a fantastic header but we talked before to Thiago Silva lifting players around him yeah. and Zuma look better. He, looked, he looked better he looked comfortable and that was an outstanding header again this is late on I mean if I'm a Palace fan, I'm saying this isn't a penalty. No, but the thing is, this is the modern day football. You can't get away with nothing. He's tapped him on the shins. Lovely bit of skill from Tammy, who worked hard today. Is it his kneecap? It's contact. It's contact. It's very harsh. Ten years ago, no chance. Yeah. Mm. The modern era is so difficult for defenders. Mm. They've they got to stand up. And then Jorginho, I mean, this is outstanding. We love watching him do this. I, I can't, for the life of me, work out how he does it <laughs> and how he kids the goalkeeper every single time but it's fantastic and you almost as a this second penalty was taken Leo a beautiful bit of skill by Havertz there anyway he was, he was smooth all game by the way today but um, yeah, that's a definite penalty but I understand all different people's um, kind of mindset on this Tammy Timo strikers want to get themselves on the goal sheet I understand that I saw Frank do that at Palo de Canio at Upton Park when we were playing but then the captain comes over and says no listen I want the penalty taker to take it take out all of the the Amin and Aaron the penalty taker is a penalty taker. He takes the ball and he ends up taking it. And I know, I know Tammy looks a bit disgruntled there, upset. He wanted to take it. I understand, but I think you won 4 0, so it won't be too much of an issue in the change room. I, th I think it's brilliant from Azpilicueta there because he's he's dealt with a situation. You know, you, you don't want your two strikers arguing over a penny when you're 3 0, 4 0 up. It's professionalism, isn't it? Jorginho comes in, dispatches it excellently like he always does and I thought Tammy and, and Tino it's, it's great like Rio says it's great and I think it just there's no need to sour a, a great performance with any negativity it was a they all did the right thing Chelsea scored Chelsea won 4-0 and it's a, it's a great day for the club and, and I think the captain diffused the situation because it yeah. could have escalated quite easily that's the job what about the manager's job he'll be happy as well today here's Frank with Des. Frank that must be very satisfying you kept banging on the door and you got the reward in the end. Yeah, we did. And uh, not too many put four past Palace because they're so organised and well coached, good players. Um, first half, we started well and we looked like we were going to create. I think then we came off it a little bit. Not, not bright enough, not, not enough speed in our game last 20 minutes of the first half. Comfortable still, but we needed a bit more and they showed it straight away at the start of the second and uh, we get four goals, which is great for us. Great for us. In that first quarter of the game, you had 82% possession. You had 73% by the time half time came. You're not creating enough in that. So, what did you what did you change at half time? What did you tell the players? Just the urgency of our game. I think we had to mix it up. The way we started, there was a bit more movement. There was a couple of passes we had to get Ben Chilwell into the game because he was arriving in high areas. We weren't finding him, and uh, and the ball behind for Tammy Abraham. We we can't allow the Crystal Palace back four to go home and say it wasn't too hard dealing with that front four and that's why the message was at half time just change it up more speed more movements change our game up and, and they did it straight away and Ben delivered that first goal and the assist for the second I mean you've admired him for a long time he seems further down the road of course in this transition with the new players obviously because he knows the Premier League inside out as he admits himself yeah but yeah he was fantastic today and he gave everything that I admired him as you say for because of his his ability to be so high up the pitch when you want him, not that he's being um, reckless by being there, he just arrives, he's got the capacity to get up and back, great quality on the ball, been a great lad and, and, and yeah I agree with you in terms of the signings that we brought in, knows the Premier League, it's just been a case of his fitness, they've all had issues a little bit, the lads that have come in, whether they're injured, whether they've not had enough pre-seasons, we have to give those, those boys a little bit of time but the way Chile play today shows you what he's about. That's right, you'll get the time as well with performances like that. There was a little debate for the fourth goal, the second penalty, where we saw Cesar Spilicueta take the ball away from Tammy and give it to Jorginho. Good decision? Is that the kind of leadership you want to see? Yeah, and it's been dealt with. <laughs> in dealt with on the pitch and, and dealt with the in the dressing room yeah. as well. Right. No problems, no problems, just dealt with. But that's the kind of thing you've been looking for from this side. You want leaders on the pitch, you want yeah. people to take command. I want leaders and I don't mind a little bit of conflict. If Tammy wanted to take it because he wants to go or whatever it was, then he can get put in his place a little bit and I appreciate his uh, eagerness because his performance deserved the goal, but those are the rules. You don't, you don't jump uh, ahead of the list at any moment unless maybe someone's at a hat-trick and we're so comfortable that, that I decide. Uh, so dealt with. Congratulations. Cheers. Thanks, Ness. Thank well you. I like that. Look, we saw how it was dealt with out here. How would it have been dealt with in the dressing room? I think from Frank's interview there, it's very clear. Tammy, you know where you, who the penalty taker is. Respect that. Thank you. Simple Good. as that. We've had it here before in Frank's time at Chelsea. Issues with penalty takers. It looks like that one's been put to bed. Um, he spoke there, didn't he, about being clear at half-time. He wanted to get Ben Chilwell in the game more. The players obviously listened to him. Yeah, we had a great aspect for him. He plays and he follows. He's got great energy. And when he gets there, because his left foot's so good, his delivery's always on the money. I mean, 
he's going to be such an asset for this club. Here, he's arriving, doesn't need to beat the man, delivers the cross. Oh, what, what, the contrast you see from the right back who has completed today and Chilwell in terms of timing of get, in getting up the pitch and being in, being in the outlet when the ball's transferred from one side of the pitch, which is the right-hand side, to the left-hand side, was telling today because we had a great vantage point here. We could see the, the, the game. Chilwell gets there when you should be there. Well, Azpilicueta is more defensive-minded. You you, you're almost egging him on to get in those positions. And so he's just a natural player in that position in, in today's modern fullback who... The onus is on them to be the outlet and to be in the attacking third at, at times, especially in the middle of the park as well, when the ball's coming across. Be in them positions to be the outlet, to then start the attack and, and get balls into the box. And he does it magnificently well. Modern day left back. Yeah. OK, let's get some more reaction now. Here's the thoughts of Roy. Roy, you did so much good work in that first half, particularly defensively, but in the second, what happened? Well, it's what the difference the goals make, of course, unfortunately. We could conceded four but all of them really unfortunately were, were very clear individual errors at the back uh, and when that happens it's, it's hard to come back from it unless you're, you've got a clear attacking threat and we didn't have that today we didn't have that at any stage of the game I thought that as you rightly say in the first half our, our defending was good, our off the ball work was excellent but on the ball we didn't show anything like the composure or the confidence that I would have liked the team to show and against the team that pressurises well like Chelsea did today mm. it was always going to be a question of making certain that they didn't score one and uh, unfortunately we we gifted them a, a goal after 50 minutes and uh, to compound everything we gifted them two goals at the end with the two penalties but Why is that? Why was there so few chances? Because for a player like Wolf Zaha he was, he was practically a just isolated with you know barely a touch in that game no but I mean to get a touch you've got to work hard to get those touches for yourself I mean the fact is we were playing against a good team and they made life very difficult they were very solid defensively themselves so it was never going to be easy um, but it's a harsh scoreline and it's a scoreline unfortunately we can only blame ourselves for in the first half it was it they had a lot of possession and statistically I know you love your statistics the first quarter of the game you had 18% and by half time you'd made it to 27% oh, but good. that does put an enormous enormous amount of pressure on the defence and on your players just to hold out yeah, it's where they have the ball isn't it I mean the fact is that yeah. in the first half I didn't think there were many goal chances 